Hi, and welcome to 60 plus seconds with Amatherm. In this video, we'll show you how to use our inrush current calculators to select the right inrush current limiter for your application. Knowing that you need an inrush current limiter is just the tip of the iceberg. Selecting the correct inrush current limiter does take some prep work and a few calculations. Speaking of calculations, this presentation follows the calculation requirements for a capacitive circuit. Other types of calculations would apply for applications such as transformers or motors. If you need assistance, remember, we're just a click away. Not all inrush current limiters are created equal. The individual resistance value of a particular inrush current limiter determines the amount of inrush current that it can limit as well as the amount of steady state current that is allowed to be passed through the inrush current limiter. Too much resistance can negatively impact the desired amount of steady state current, yet not enough resistance can allow excessive inrush current to harm the very circuitry that you're trying to protect. So how do you select the right inrush current limiter that meets your requirements? Easy! Start by using our inrush current calculators. We'll cover the information that you need to know and three simple calculations based on that information to determine 1. the minimum resistance, 2. the steady state current, and 3. the maximum energy rating in joules. To calculate inrush current, there are two things that you must know. Maximum output power, this is a variable and relevant to the steady state current of the device, and the input voltage. This is the available incoming line voltage, for example, 110 or 230 volts. Next, we'll cover six additional items that will help you drill down to the right choice. Reset time. How often the system turns on or off in a specified time frame. Single or three phase. The origin of the incoming voltage. Filter or link capacitance value in microfarads. This quantifies the magnitude of the capacitance. Scope trace, a snapshot of inrush current at a moment in time. Fuse or circuit breaker rating if applicable. Diode bridge inrush current rating if applicable. To demonstrate our calculators, we'll use a scenario from a customer. We'll walk you through each calculation so that you can see how this process enabled our customer to quickly select the right inrush current limiter and solve their problem. Let's get started. In this scenario, our customer was using a 1500 watt switch mode power supply connected to a 20 amp breaker. The problem? High inrush current caused the breaker to continually trip during startup. The given information in this scenario is a 20 amp circuit breaker, 230 AC input voltage, and filter capacitance of 2700 microfarad. Step 1. Calculating the minimum resistance. Using Ohm's Law and the maximum allowable inrush current or breaker rating, this calculation determines the minimum resistance that an inrush current limiter can have based on the application. Calculating the minimum resistance. Enter the input voltage and the max inrush current in amps, then calculate to determine the lowest resistance needed in ohms. In this case, it's 16.3. Step 2. Calculating the steady state current. This calculation determines the maximum amount of steady state current that will flow through the inrush current limiter under load. Calculating the steady state current. Enter the output power and the input voltage. Then calculate to determine the steady state current in amps. In this scenario, it is 7.2. Step 3. The Joules calculation. This calculation determines how much energy the inrush current limiter must absorb its switch on without self-destructing. Calculating the joules. Enter the peak voltage and the capacitance, then calculate to determine the total joules or energy rating, and in this case, it's 142.8. Now that we've found the numbers, let's go find the inrush current limiter to match. You'll find our full line of inrush current limiters on our website as shown here. Simply click on the full line of inrush current limiters tab to display the component locator. 
Now all you need to do is scroll down the table until you find a part that best matches your requirements for resistance, steady state current, and the joules. Never select a part with numbers less than your results. And that's how you select the right inrush current limiter. In this scenario, the calculations determine that our inrush current limiter MS3220008 was the right component to solve our customer's problem. You can access our calculators on our website. Simply hover over the Tools tab in the main menu and scroll down to Calculators as shown here. Visit us at www.amatherm.com to find your next inrush current limiter. We've covered quite a bit today, and as always, if you have questions, we've got your answers. If you'd like to learn more about input voltage, steady state current, scope trace, or the max output voltage, connect with us. Thanks for spending 60 plus seconds with Amatherm. If you'd like to learn more about our products and services, please visit us at www.amatherm.com. Our engineers always welcome your questions.